Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to a new video and today's video is a good one, I'm telling you. You're gonna love seeing the updates on Pete's car, I promise. But before we get into that, I have to just say a massive thank you to Skillshare. This is an honour to be sponsored by them. Skillshare is a website that I actually signed up to over a year and a half ago because a YouTuber I love called Nerd City was promoting it and I was like, well, maybe these guys can help me out a little bit in my creative journey and oh my goodness me it has almost transformed the way that i look at youtube and not just youtube itself uh skillshare is an online community for creators it has thousands and thousands of classes hosted by experts in their field uh, if you click the link down below they've offered me 1000 free premium memberships uh, for two months so click down below today and join the experience yourself so the classes that you can take include illustration graphic design photography creative writing animation fine art music and music production film and video marketing pro productivity freelance and entrepreneurship advice and they teach you more stuff than just advice. Uh, web development and crafts. And there is also many more on there too. They offer thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics that I have just mentioned. I promise you this isn't, I'm, I'm excited to do this, this advert. <laughs> Basically because I use this website. This is crazy that they've actually uh, asked me to do this. You might be sat there going, do you know what? I'm not even a YouTuber. Why would I want this? It is not just for YouTube. Creative and curious people alike. Lifelong learners, real working creatives and beginners, pros, dabblers and masters, there is a class for all of you out there. I promise you this. These classes are under an hour, so they're short and they can fit in with your schedule. I advise you to check out Skillshare. Use the link down below today to get involved. One thing I've been asked millions of times as a YouTuber is, how do I get into it? How can I learn? How can I do this? Can you give me some advice? And I just point everyone to Skillshare. And I've been doing that without getting paid. Well, I use this myself. And one class I've been using is transforming footage into evocative travel stories. I want to be able to make my car journeys, my travel stories, my, my you've seen me, my Japan stories, and all the rest that's gonna come once COVID's all over. I want them to be able to be told in a manner that is entertaining, fun, and creative, even more so than I do already. So that is what I use Skillshare for, and that is by Oliver Astrologo. And he is the guy that I am currently working my way through. There's gonna be a class on there for you. Like I said, it's two months free. Who can argue with that? Use the link down below. Thank you, Skillshare. Let's get to Pete's and check out his car. Peace. Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. And if you're a returning subscriber or viewer, thank you very much for tuning back in. Today, I'm in my BMW M3 and I am heading up to a familiar face's house. So we are heading to Pete's house today because we, I wanted to give you guys an update on his EF Civic. So we're on his fourth gen Civic. I'm gonna throw up some clips now what it would have looked like the last time you will have seen it on the channel. And I know he's quite quiet with him posting it on the internet and stuff, so I've asked him permission to come up today because I've just finished out my yard to uh, just come see him and see an old face from the channel that some of you may recognize, depending on how long you've been here, but Rich is up there helping him out. We've become quite the Warzone squad. So I thought today it's time to get us all back together in real life after this corona stuff and uh, go see Pete's car. But yeah, it's been a fantastic few days. And while I've got this second with the camera in the car, I wanted to just thank everybody who has picked up some of the new clothing line. I, I cannot explain how busy I was the first few days of that launch. It has been, that was definitely the best launch I've ever had of clothing before. So I wanted to say, a, a just from the bottom of my heart, a thank you. It really means a lot. And thank you for sticking with me through everything. It's been great. We are finally able to show you Pete's now working. What is it, an EC Civic, technically? Yeah, EC9, 1.4, D14A1. So what we have here is Peter. Peter P. Wizzle. P. P. Wizzle. Hello. Hello. And his little, I'm gonna call it an EF, just for bar ease, ease of talking's sake. Yeah, it's EF Civic, which is fun. That bird has not made noise at all this whole time, and now it's tweeting. 
So Pete, is it finished? No. Oh. I thought it was finished. I thought that's why I was here. Oh. Is that why you're here? No. Well, so where are we at with it then? What's going on? Talk us through the spec of the car now with... B18. Right, okay. Numbers. C. <laughs> Out of an Integra Type R, cool. No, it's just videoing me, I don't like it. If you don't mind me videoing you. <laughs> okay, cool. So what we've got in here is Skunk 2 Alpha Series Rad. We've obviously got the B18C, and then we've got the Skunk 2 Black Series oh, yeah, Oil Cap. We've got the Skunk 2 um, Black Series Strut Race, all supplied by the wonderful people at 621. Yeah. Lovely jubbly. BC coilovers and innovative, innovative mounts on there. What about you as well? Yeah, all, I think pretty much the whole thing has been, hasn't it? Almost. Yeah, um, yeah. Really sorry to interrupt this video, but I just want to say that every single part that you see basically in this video for this car, we supplied at 621. So if you go over to 621.com, if you have any advice or anything you need and you're willing to buy through us, I'm more than happy to give you as much of my time as you need so we can find the exact parts for your car. Drop me a message at sales at 621.com and uh, head over to 621.com to have a look for the next parts for your car. We are suppliers of BC Racing, Yellow Speed, HSD, Recaro. Corbu, uh, Spoon Sports, Jay's Racing, and many, many more. And these are companies we have worked with for years. We're not a pop-up company. We've been doing this for over 10 years now. Drop me a message, and I'll see if I can help you. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Let's get back to it. Manifold. What manifold did we get you down there? And take you one, yeah? Nice bit of kit they are. Lovely, jubbly. So what gearbox are you running with? Is it an S80? No, it's a 64 C with a 4.9 final drive and a Mugen 2.5. Oof. Metal diff. Lovely jubbly. Have you, you haven't driven it properly yet though, have you? No. So you don't know how good it is or not. But the car looks wicked. Uh, obviously it needs lowering. I've been trying to get them to lower the car <laughs> this afternoon, but they've been too busy fitting on the interior here, which there's not a whole lot of stuff to really show. But uh, we've got the, is that K-Tune shifter extender thing? I don't know, is it? Can't remember. Yeah, K-Tuned. And then you've got uh, Recaro, Pole position? Yeah, the one I had from you ages ago. Mm, ages ago. Nardi steering wheel, once again supplied by me years ago, that thing. Yeah. You bought that in the shop when we used to stock stuff. And then there's not much else. My old ECU down there. So <laughs> <laughs> looks rotten. <laughs> um, Lance's old car, yeah. Um, got the battery relocated here. Absolutely nothing in the back. But you have got a roll cage going to go in. What yeah. point roll cage is it you've picked up? 14, I think. A 14 point roll cage? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> sounds excessive, but cool. Um, as we come around the back, what side skirts are these? Uh, EKs. You got EK side skirts on it, then uh, charge speed wing. Rep. Rep. Thing. I'll get in a sack of one on here eventually, one day. And we've got the weird drag things in the rear bumper. eBay. That's eBay. <laughs> what exhaust is it running? Skunk 2. Skunk 2. I should know all this stuff really because they're a nice supplied all, but it's been a long time coming to talk it over. Um, and it's finished in a different colour. This isn't a Honda colour. No, it's uh, Skyline R32 Gunmetal Grey. Yeah, so for anybody that doesn't remember, back in the day, Pete actually had an R32 GTR in Gunmetal Grey oh. and then uh, decided to bring no. <laughs> decided to step back into the honda world because gtrs are very expensive to maintain and modify so hondas are just easy and fun and what tires are we running on here net oh they're the uh nankang ar1s oh cool no ain't the nankang ar1s <laughs> and then behind there we've got the i've got the six spot brakes hiding behind the team dynamic wheels yeah so that's where we're at in the minute what is this front bumper like has it got a molded in lip on it or is that an, a molded jay's racing style lip yeah. Yeah, it looks nice. And with the bonnet down, that's how she is looking. Mate, I am very impressed considering you have no idea what you're doing and you've managed to put all this together all on your own. Yeah, well, well, with Richard's help over there as well, um, for the most part. But yeah, it looks it looks really, really cool. What's the plans with it? Because obviously you've got a daily driver. Just track on it. Just track? You're going to put it on a road? Oh yeah, be road. So it'd be like my yellow Civic kind of yeah, thing, yeah, like red yeah, Civic yeah, kind yeah. of thing. So it'd be cool when we finally get some Hondas back together and get to do some racing racing um it'd be cool if people down below let us know what you think i'm sure you're gonna get some comments going oh it's taking ages but it has been like a full full build yeah um yeah no it looks great man i'm very very impressed i just wanted to give everybody on the youtube an update but yeah there she is cheers mate <laughs> <laughs> So the car isn't completely finished yet. You've still got like window sills and stuff to put yeah, on and yeah. Honda badges and like 621 stickers and stuff available in the link down below. Yeah, it's really, really cool. I really like it. I also like that you've got like almost body matched wheels on it. 
Sick. Welcome back to the channel, Richard. No. It's been a long time. So you were just saying something that Pete forgot to say about. What the um, full hydro conversion instead of some horrible cable conversion kit. Exactly that. So what is the benefit of what you guys have done here? Just so everybody can understand, and me, that... <laughs> well, that way it's a full conversion to the hydro gearbox rather than just some like makeshift DIY bracket system that still uses the cable system to the pedal. Oh, okay, so it'll be much more reliable and probably much easier and better to use. Mount it to the firewall. Nice one, man. I think you guys have done a wicked job on it, like, being serious. I think it looks so good. When he first bought it, I was like, what is that junker that he's, all, like, he's picked? But it's a beauty now, for sure. <laughs> So that is our brief little look around Pete's wicked EF Civic. I hope you guys like it. Please make sure you hit subscribe on the channel for more videos to come in the future. As soon as this thing is ready, it'll be about the same time as my Civic and we're out on track days together and it's gonna be wicked. His car's gonna be way faster than mine though, but for now it'll be a lot of fun, I guess, to play with. So yeah, see you later guys. Peace. All right guys, it's just at the end of this video and I wanted to say thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you like Pete's car. Sorry the video's a bit scattered, but I kind of just turned up unannounced, really. I kind of just texted him going, can I come and have a look at your car? And uh, I'm really, really grateful that he let me have a proper look around it. Once that car is finished, we will 100, 100% do a proper, proper, much more pretty, nice video. All right guys, thank you very much for watching again. I'll see you later on. Please make sure you subscribe. Peace.